let's draw the structure for 3,4-dimethylhexane. So the first thing you'll note, it ends in A-N-E. So A-N-E, that means it's going to be an alkane. So we're only going to have single bonds, carbons and hydrogens, just single bonds. Then we have hex. Hex is six. So we'll have six of those carbons in a chain. So let's draw that, then we'll deal with this first part here. So here's our hexane, and each one of these lines goes to a hydrogen. You'll note each carbon has four different bonds. Okay, so dimethyl, when we talk about a methyl group, we're talking about CH3, a carbon with three hydrogens. So we're going to have methyl groups, two of them, because we have the di on the third and the fourth, right here, the third and the fourth carbons. Let's draw those. So 3, 4, dimethyl, 1, 2, 3. We'll put a methyl group on the third carbon here, put that right there, and then on the fourth. We could put it up top, but I'm going to put it down here just because it's a little easier. And alkanes can rotate on these bonds, so it really doesn't matter where you put it. That gives us 3, 4, dimethyl, hexane. 3 and 4, we have the methyl groups, and the whole thing is the hexane, all single bonds, carbons, and hydrogens. If you count the carbons up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 total carbons here in our 3,4 dimethylhexane. It's Dr. B, and thanks for watching.